welcome back to my channel welcome to another video in today's video we are going to be doing my 10 minute no makeup makeup routine this video is in sponsorship with moto brushes and if you'd like to see that then please keep on watching so the first thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows and I'm using the precisely my brow pencil from benefit this is in the shade number five and I always first spoolie or use the spoolie to brush all of my eyebrow hairs upward and then I just start to fill it in lightly since this is a no makeup makeup kind of routine um, kind of natural but better kind of thing um, I'm not really emphasizing my eyebrows too much so I'm not going to go very heavy or Instagram brow or anything like that it's just gonna be very 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 minimal um, shading and filling in so Right now I'm just following the hair strokes. So at the beginning of the brow, I'll stroke upwards and then when I'm going through the rest of the brow, I'll go sideways following the hairs. So um, on this left brow, I actually filled it in a little bit more than I usually do, but I'm just spooling, making sure all of the product is dispersed evenly. And then I'm using this Creva Girl Easy Breezy Brow in the shade Deep. I have been loving this brow gel. So it is a brow gel, so it sets your brows in place. If you have really unruly hair, I definitely recommend using an eyebrow um, gel like this one um they do have different shades they have a clear they have a deep they have a dark um a medium and a light i believe but i was sent the medium and the deep and i like the deep because it's darker than my actual pencil so it matches my hair or my wig so to speak a little bit better so i am just applying this brushing the hairs upward and over to make it look a little more natural so it looks like i have um hairs as opposed to it being like super defined and super um filled in and I'm not really caring if I get it all over the place because it doesn't really matter but since that spoolie does have product on it I just go in with a regular degular just an old um, clean spoolie and just brush it through to evenly move that product around because I don't want too many like you know thick clumps in certain areas so now I'm using a little bit of makeup remover and I'm just going right underneath of the brow and over the brow to pick up any of that eyebrow gel or eyebrow pencil or anything that I may have gotten all over the place because I like a natural brow but I don't like it to look unkept you know there's a difference <laughs> and I'm not about that um, I don't want it all over them the reason I'm using makeup remover as opposed to concealer is because I'm doing no makeup so I don't want you know extra product all over my face so the brush kit we are going to be using is the moda mythical five piece perfecting pixie kit and this is such a cute kit it is a five piece kit so it comes with a powder brush a highlighting brush a contouring brush and a detailing slash pencil brush it also comes with a holographic um, pouch that you can store these brushes in or travel with i love the holographic pouch as i mentioned to you guys i use it for pretty much any and everything. So for concealer, I'm using a little bit of this CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. This is in the shade Bronze. Normally I'll use Tawny, but since we're going for a natural look, I'm using something a little closer to my skin tone. This is a holographic pencil pouch that I was talking about. And um, it's just so cute. Like look at when the light reflects, it's just so, so, so cute. So. I am first using a precision angled brush and this is a brush that I would normally use like to blend out my concealer above my eye but today I'm using it underneath of my eye and I didn't take a ton of concealer just a tiny tiny tad bit and this brush since it does have an angle it gets right underneath of the eyes really well and it also doesn't tug or pull at the eye like it's not a super 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 stiff brush the bristles are pretty loose and they move when I apply and it also evenly distributed this product like I do go in a little bit later with my finger but it does move this product really nicely I also put it a little over the top of my eye just to make sure that everything around that area is even but this I'm just tapping it into place making sure it's not super tacky and that's why I like this concealer because it dries to a matte finish so for foundation I'm actually using a bit of it hello happy pressed velvet foundation so i'm not a big powder person but today i was like i'm not going to use liquid foundation that's a bit much and like i said i don't if i don't have to wear foundation i don't want to so i'm using the large powder brush the good thing about this brush is you can use this for 
powder. You can use it for blush, you can use it for contouring, you can use it for pretty much whatever. Honestly, you guys, any brush you have, you can use for whatever. There's no rules or set. Um, some, some brushes have set, you know, specific products and things that you're supposed to use, but honestly, you can use whatever brush for whatever. So I'm just putting this all over the face just to give a nice light dusting of coverage this isn't going to be for anyone that has you know acne prone skin or really like um have a lot of hyperpigmentation it might be hard you might have to go in with the foundation um but i am using a bronzer this is the abh powdered bronzer in mahogany like i mentioned i'm using that same powder brush this is a large fluffy brush and this is actually the type of brush that i would use to bronze or contour the skin anyways because i like it to be a little more diffused but i'm just adding a little little bit of warmth into the skin this is pretty close to my skin tone so you won't see a distinct difference but that doesn't bother me much because that's not what I'm doing it for however I am going to use a liquid highlighter this is the cover effects um, skin enhancing drops this is in the shade candlelight I remember when these were so popular like a couple of years ago um, but I'm just using a tiny bit of that then I'm going to use the highlighting brush for um, from this pixie set as well just to apply that now in hindsight I would probably go back in with the deep um, with the precision angled brush the precision angle brush would have worked a lot better because it would move the creams around since it's a little more dense of a brush um, this cream set into my skin and it was kind of hard to move with the highlighting brush so in hindsight I would do it different however I'm using the Becca um, skin perfecting perfector pressed highlighter in topaz now topaz is a little more um, golden it's way better for deeper darker skin and this highlighting brush did the job with that since it is really finely milled this highlighting brush picked up the product and distributed it distributed it <laughs> um, nice and evenly like I didn't have any chunks or anything and it just gives a nice natural glow um, I am going to go in with the last brush in this set which is the detailing brush and just apply this into the inner corner and just to kind of draw the focus into the inner corner and also do the tip in the bridge of my nose since I'm not contouring or anything like that I still want to bring a little bit of structure to the nose and the inner corner and then I'm just gonna go back in with the large powder brush and just run over everything um, you can apply blush if you'd like to but when I did this look yesterday and a couple weeks ago I didn't apply any blush in and, and I, I was content I was happy so uh, next is mascara I did forget to include this in my intro and also in my single clips because I don't know you can use whatever mascara this is the Tarte gifted mascara but you can use whatever mascara you want I mean I just use this one because it separates my lashes really well and I have extremely extremely curly lashes so I need something that's going to um, separate them also lengthen them and also be really 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 black so that is why I chose this mascara and the last and final um, step to this is lip gloss and you can use whatever lip gloss you have I am going to use the dose of colors moi lip gloss it's from their uh, Mickey Mouse collection the Disney Mickey Mouse collection um, sometimes I use the Desi Katie over the top gloss which is the clear with gold reflex and sometimes I just use a regular Bath and Body Works minty clear gloss like it doesn't matter you can use whatever you want however that completes my look so I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to check out the links for the Moda mythical brush set down below also you can use code Lanye to save some coins because you know we're all about our coins and I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I've been rocking it lately and it's so effortless. It's so easy. It's just it's just beautiful. It's it's natural but beautiful. It's not extremely over the top, it's not extremely overdone, and you can wear it anywhere. There are no rules. However, I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.